Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and Kevin O'Leary just humiliates this woke, screeching Democrat whose talking points are utter nonsense. But before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to our great sponsors over at Colonial Metals Group. They quite literally have the cure to Biden inflation and Harris economics, but more on that later. Now, let's dive in. I, I don't really understand why he keeps going back to this well of, of more and more and more tariffs. Let me explain why. Let's take China. Uh, let's take an example that every American understands, TikTok. Everybody knows TikTok. Uh, American people made, people made a decision in Congress to ban it on midnight, Jan 19th. The Supreme Leader of China said, no, we're going to use your court systems to litigate the American people so that doesn't happen. I can't do that in China. The Supreme Leader would never let me do that. I can't protect my IP there. Chinese have been screwing my 45 businesses for 35 years. I like the idea of going to war with China with tariffs to change behavior. But they, it didn't change behavior. All it did because was hurt American companies. Because we've had weak leadership that doesn't know how to implement. This is the same leadership. It was no, no. Trump who, it's, who no, no, launched it started the with trade Biden, war with Then it was Clinton saying, let's democratize China, let's show them democracy, and they'll play far in the double. But, but, no, no, but to Catherine's no. point, It's she's time saying, to raise tariffs on China to wait, 400%. Trump, hang on a second. Trump already raised tariffs on China. Not there, enough. Not there enough. There have been many studies the showing Supreme, that U.S. companies and consumers you know, are the ones who the bore the cost. I love the academic study. I'm doing okay, real okay. business in China. I'm actually okay. doing business there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually working American there. Companies, There's no academics in my country. Where companies. do you think they buy their inputs from? Uh, let me explain something to you. From China. The Chinese it steal hurts my American... IP. They make the same product with the molds that I pay for there. Okay. They ship them into this country under a different brand. I don't like it anymore, and I've been trying to solve this for 30 years. If you tariff years. everything from China... At There's no 60%. academic in my world. I'm an. I'm. A, I'm. You're going to be paying more America. for the stuff let, let you buy. Finish You're going to be paying quick, more for the stuff you buy. They knew She's even in the 1600s no, no, that you should I'm not tariff the inputs. Kevin, let's, let's, take, let's, 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 let's just let take a yoga mat. Every American. Put a 400 percent tariff on a yoga mat. We'll make it Vietnam or make it India or make it America. We won't buy anything from China. And the it Supreme will still be will more come, expensive. He'll come to New York. It will be more expensive. No, 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 no. Absolutely, it will. We won't buy it from there. Wait, what do you mean we won't also, buy it hold from on, there? Hold on one second, because I, I, I get the Why back Why are you raising forth, the price? But, but Kevin, you're having a different... This is always what happens when we talk about Trump and the economy. Mm -hmm. People come Nothing on here... Trump. Hang on, I'm hang on. No, 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 just, just hang on. People come on the show, and then they defend a different economic policy that, than the one that Trump mm -hmm. is advocating. He says in the clip, what am I going to do, negotiate with China or Mexico? He doesn't want to negotiate. He says you're not going to get anything from them. OK, that's what he says. He does not want to negotiate. Also, the question I asked you is, where is the rest of the plan? Where is the rest of the economic plan? Well, why don't you what? just look at his track record for the last you know, term that he had? No inflation, fantastic wage growth. I mean, look, the, he actually sat in the seat at the You've White House. 2020. You may not like what you he know, did. President you may not like Trump him. was president in 2020. But I don't remember 9% inflation when he was I, I remember 18% unemployment. I mean, I remember... What happened when that was going on? Just oh, a curiosity. pandemic that he bungled. So you're, are you saying he created the virus? No, and, but he absolutely and, made it worse. How? By lying you're saying, you're, about the risk, by telling people <laughs> not to get tested, don't saying, get tested. You're saying he should have personally cured the virus as no, the president. No, I'm saying he should have given that. his she tests to Americans she, rather she, than she to She did not say that. I mean, but, but Scott, okay. I mean, I right. mean I'm, I'm sorry. This, this, yes. idea, this idea that somehow because Trump was the president that the virus has political proclivities and decided to prolong itself has been crazy. No, no. no. Let's, let's just you don't think leadership mattered at all the virus? No, I don't actually. Being both insufferable and wrong is apparently how you keep your job at CNN. Good grief, lady, you are a piece of work who said nothing of substance. So let's start working backwards, shall we? Let's talk about viral management when you are dealing with a global pandemic. Okay, what you're supposed to do is shut down the ports, shut down the airports, do not allow any travel coming in, uh, coming from China. Now, I remember delivering medical supplies uh, during late 2019 and up to uh, 2020. And uh, since I was in Atlanta, I would listen to Eric Erickson. He was the only talk show worth listening to at the time when I was making my first set of deliveries. And late in October, early November, he started reporting that there's something weird going on in China. 
that a lot of their electrical usage is down, their production is down, and they are being unusually quiet. Now, if you know anything about the Chinese, you'll know that uh, their government likes being loud and obnoxious and tries to show itself as the greatest thing on Earth, when the reality is it's one of the worst run countries out there. Hey y'all, I'm not exactly looking at retirement anytime soon, but my parents are, and friends of my parents are, and I'm sure either you or someone you know is looking at retirement and wondering, what do I do? How do I help prepare for this in this economy with this terrible president and with a vice president who basically coup d'etat him and is now looking to run for president herself? How do you protect against this? Well, simple. You go over to my friends at Colonial Metals Group. They quite literally have something called the Retirement Package Plan. This plan backs your wealth with gold and silver accounts. And furthermore, you will have direct access to these accounts. So you're not at the whims of Wall Street. You're not at the whims of inflation. You are in command of your own destiny. As a bonus, qualified applicants can receive up to $10,000 in free silver, plus a couple of other little goodies that they're going to package up for you, and you're going to be able to protect your wealth and your retirement. So go over to this link in the description below at colonialmetalsgroup.com, or call this number 800-203-0422 and see how they can help you prepare for retirement today by backing your account with gold and silver. Don't delay your retirement, folks. Protect the money that you earned with Colonial Metals Group. They're here to help. And so, I was hearing these reports that something weird's going on. And all of a sudden, in December, people start getting sick all around the world. It hadn't reached U.S. shores just yet. So, what happened? The first, pers the first people to get the virus in Georgia were traveling in Italy which had a lot of Chinese business partners. Uh, China is heavily invested in Italy and Iran, and funnily enough, those were the places that caught a lot of the first uh, outside of China cases. And so what you're supposed to do is you say, we now have no-go zones. If you are from any of these countries, you are not allowed to enter the United States without first going through a quarantine period. We kind of did that, and to which the Democrats screeched so loud that Trump's only, uh, the only thing he got wrong, I think, during the entirety of the pandemic was listening to the Democrats saying, reopen the borders. That was bad. The real reason he did it, however, wasn't because Democrat pressure. It was due to Chinese pressure. Because, and this ties into the first part of the video, talking about tariffs. Trump, after having secured major victories with Canada, Mexico, uh, England, and a lot of the other NATO countries, trying to get them to say, hey, um, we've been paying for your NATO dues. It's time for you to honor your end of the bargain. And guess what? He was, he was right to do so, and he got them to pay for the first time, I think, ever, because we had been doing so economically good for the past 60 years that no one had to care. So he was fresh off of these victories, and now he wanted to turn to a major problem, a major thorn in America's economic side. And that is the Chinese Communist Party uh, policies of heavy tariffs on Americans and American goods, forcing them to use Chinese-made models instead of American ones uh, when they wanted to do business. And so Trump tried to tackle that with other tariff prices. And this is the part where uh, this shill of a human being actually does get something right. She is correct in saying that would raise the price of Chinese goods. Tariffs are always uh, basically unseen taxes. That's just the sad truth. But in a world where you are working at a geopolitical level, where your actions don't really mean you're acting to one thing, you are using it as political leverage. He was using those tariffs and was in the middle of major negotiations right when the pandemic started to happen. And that derailed everything. So, Kevin O'Leary is right. The whole idea of tariffs was not about the economy. It was about geopolitics and the politics of power, which apparently this woman clearly does not understand because she only looks at one side of it. Kevin O'Leary understands this because he has businesses in China. He deals with, uh, with the Chinese. And because of that, he knows that the policy of tariffs 
work at a different level, it does hurt American consumers, but it might get them a better deal in the long term. It's like, I don't know, getting inoculated against a disease, having a certain vaccine. Like you get a little bit of the polio strain, congratulations, you don't have to worry about polio. That's how it's supposed to work. And funnily enough, Donald Trump got both of these things right. The only issue was really that he stopped negotiating from a position of power. That was his only mistake. And this woman doesn't even understand what happens. Kevin O'Leary does. And uh, it shocks me that he's one of the few voices of reason on CNN because they're not supposed to allow voices of reason on CNN. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed that segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.